Welcome to the PIAC Parent Information Presentation. My name is Kirsty McCrory. And I'm Tara Hennant. We are here to guide you through some information about the PIAC program. Here is a summary of the contents of this slideshow. An overview of PIAC and the location of our current centres. The identification process. Some information about the characteristics of PIAC students. What we provide educationally and our courses. Some key messages the PIAC website, and information about selective entry government high schools. The PIAC programme has been in existence since 1984. It operates on a regional basis in Western Australia and caters for identified students in government schools in years five and six. The North Metropolitan Region currently has 184 primary schools. There are eight PIAC centres in the region and the PIAC Administration Centre is at Yaluma Primary School in Inalu. The distribution of the centres throughout the region can be seen on this map. Gagne's differentiated model of giftedness and talent is an internationally recognised model used by the Western Australian Department of Education as the definition that underpins their gifted policy. Gagne defines the term gifted as anyone that falls into the 90th percentile and above on a standardised assessment, that is, the top 10% of the population. Giftedness designates the possession and use of outstanding natural abilities, called aptitudes, in at least one ability domain. Talent designates the outstanding mastery of systematically developed abilities, called competencies, that is, knowledge and skills, in at least one field of human activity. Talent emerges from ability as a consequence of the student's learning experience. These definitions reflect the distinction between ability and performance and recognise other factors that affect the development of a person's giftedness into talent. Giftedness is the natural ability that you are born with. The domains include intellectual, creative, socio-affective and sensory motor, as shown in the blue section on the left of this slide. Talent is how these gifts are displayed in a variety of fields, as seen in the green section on the right. Whether an individual's giftedness is ever displayed as a talent can be determined by the catalysts as shown in the middle of the diagram. The same model, represented differently here, highlights how the shift from high potential to high performance occurs as a result of a talent development process. The PIAC program is designed to be an environmental catalyst which, in addition, provides a learning environment that recognises the importance of the development of intrapersonal skills. In terms of identifying students for our programme, Western Australia has a unique, systematic process for identifying students with high potential in the form of the PIAC testing. The current PIAC test, introduced in 2016, was devised by the Australian Council for Education Research. It consists of two tests and is administered to Year 4 students in all primary schools across the state. The test is centrally marked by ACER and the cohort is determined by the results. In 2021, over 20,000 students were tested statewide, with around 8,500 of them being from the North Metro region. As a result of this process, 438 Year 4 students have been invited to attend the program beginning in 2022. They represent around the top 3% of students tested. Myths abound about the students in our field of education. Some examples are that they are a homogenous group who all present in the same way. They are good at everything. They always get top marks. They finish their work quickly. They always produce work of a high standard. They don't need any extra help. They will be fine. It is important to understand that this can be far from the truth. Betts and Neihart's revised profiles of gifted children provides useful information about the variety of ways these students may present. The creative profile often results in a challenging student. They may question rules and policies. They stand up for their convictions or they may be in conflict with their peers. The underground student may devalue or deny their abilities. They often reject challenge and they may drop out of extension opportunities. Norming is typical within this group. For example, young students who present at kindy or pre-primary with advanced skills such as reading may quickly norm themselves to the group and appear to have the same ability as their peers, hence the underground title. A student displaying the at-risk profile may create crisis or disruptions and may criticise self or others. The at-risk student may feel resentful and angry and may have low 
academic achievement. Twice or multi-exceptional students are those who may have one or a series of learning difficulties or other challenges in addition to their natural abilities. Examples of these additional challenges include autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit and processing disorders, and long-term or ongoing medical issues. Often, a twice exceptional child will appear average as their challenges may mask their abilities, or their abilities makes their challenges seem less severe. The autonomous learner has many characteristics that we aim to develop in our students. They are resilient, they seek challenge, they are independent, and they pursue their own goals. This leaves a successful profile, or Betts and Neihart's type one. This will be explained in more detail on the next slide. Research shows up to 90% of students selected for gifted programs fit Betts and Neihart's successful profile. The name derives from the fact that these students perform well at school where they achieve, conform and seek teacher approval. Their motivation is extrinsic and they will work for grades and other external rewards. However, students within this profile also adopt an entity view of intelligence or what we call a fixed mindset. This results in a fear of failure and risk avoidance, which can explain why some PIAC students do not initially relish the challenge that our programs offer. Understanding mindset is an important component of the intrapersonal skills we aim to develop at PIAC. The understanding of mindset involves students appreciating the differences between having a fixed and growth mindset. Mindset should be viewed as a continuum where individuals fall somewhere between fixed and growth mindset in any given situation. As part of their journey through the PIAC program, we aim to develop growth mindset behaviours such as seeking challenge, requesting feedback and persisting with difficult tasks. The PIAC program aligns with various educational policies and guidelines, including those shown on the screen. This results in a program that provides students with access to like-minded peers, active and authentic learning experiences and high-level curriculum content. Our resulting mission statement is to cultivate confident, active and successful learners with transferable critical and creative thinking skills with access to authentic and challenging learning opportunities. This results in PIAC courses having particular characteristics. They are diverse and often involve a combination of learning areas. They are designed to engage and motivate students and to extend and challenge their thinking. PIAC courses focus on learning processes, not just products. An important factor is that the students have access to like-minded peers and the opportunity to interact with students who think like they do and who share similar interests and passions. PIAC is future focused and 21st century thinking skills are embedded in our courses. The Organisation for Economic and Community Development, an international organisation with 38 member countries, including Australia, has outlined the skills they envisage will be needed in the workforce of the future. These skills are reflected in the PIAC program as we seek to assist our students in navigating their own learning journey. The PIAC program fosters many of the principles of the OECD Learning Compass, such as recognising the importance of social and emotional awareness, the development of creative, cognitive and metacognitive skills, self-motivation and students taking an active role in their own learning. For us, working under the Western Australian curriculum, this translates as shown on the screen. We focus on two of the general capabilities, critical and creative thinking and personal and social capabilities. Within these, there are five elements and 12 sub elements. Coming up with ideas, developing critical research skills through inquiry, goal setting and reflection are key skills practiced and developed in each course. We extend and challenge our students in a variety of ways, including exposure to above level learning content and experts in the field. We consider each PIAC student to be on their own individual journey and use a feedback and feed forward approach to foster individual progress and growth. Here you can see what the general progression from passive to active learner might look like and how it relates to PIAC's four phases of learning. These four phases align with various depth of learning models 
where students make a gradual shift from being passively reliant on the teacher to being able to actively and independently apply and transfer their knowledge. To assist students in navigating their journey, we provide them with a toolkit. Examples of some of these thinking tools can be seen here. These tools help them with the key PX skills such as generating questions and setting goals as mentioned previously. All courses utilise Costa and Callick's 16 Habits of Mind as dispositions for success and to help them face new challenges. Students will learn about these in their introductory course. They are particularly relevant to top-end students because they are likely to have had little previous experience of being stuck or faced with a problem with an answer that is not immediately known, so will not naturally have developed a repertoire of these habits. Growth mindset and the Betts and Nyhart profiles are strongly linked to the habits of mind. The introductory course is called ITP or Introduction to PIAC. The details are as follows. You and your school will receive an invitation by week two of term one. Please be aware this may go to spam. Full details of enrolment will be included in this invitation. The enrolment system is accessed via the PIAC website where you can also add or update health and privacy details. In 2022, we will be running 25 ITP classes across all eight centres. Classes run once a week in a morning or afternoon session. When enrolling, you'll be required to make four choices from the available options. Your child will be placed in one of those four. Students wishing to carpool must make the same choices in the same order. The name of the students will also need to appear exactly as the ones on our system. Payment is made to your home school. ITP commences in week four of term one and will run for nine sessions. A course outline will be provided to students in the first session. PIAC does not run in the school holidays. ITP is an important first course where students are introduced to PIAC processes and this different way of working. They will practice using a variety of thinking tools whilst exploring their own interests and passions. The course is designed to be a starting point from which they progress. As with all PIAC courses, there is no homework set in the traditional sense. Students, however, do work at home. The amount of work that PIAC students do at home is really a matter of choice and desire. We aim for students to want to work at home in order to achieve the course outcomes and to progress on their own journey. Please support your child through their first and subsequent PIAC courses by encouraging persistence and a growth mindset. At the end of ITP, students will be issued with their PIAC portfolio. This is a document they will take from course to course and will gradually be filled with course certificates, work samples and assessments. This portfolio will become a record of their time and achievements at PIAC. PIAC has three rounds per year. This is generally half a day for 10 weeks. There are occasionally courses that may run for a full day over five weeks. PIAC does not run during school holidays, but it does run on school development days and pupil free days, as these vary across the region. The courses are run at PIAC centres and external venues. Many courses include excursions or incursions. The cost of a PIAC course varies. Costs start at $10 for a round. An average cost is between $10 and $30. The cost of external venue courses varies and can be up to $100. Transport to and from classes is arranged by parents. Carpooling requests can be entered into the enrolment system at the same time as course selections. Duty of care is an important point that has several considerations. Student health records must remain up to date and students will need to bring any required medications such as EpiPens with them to each class. Students must be accompanied to the classroom or meeting point by an adult and a direct handover to the PIAC teacher must occur. Students must be collected from the teacher at the end of the lesson. Walking, riding or catching public transport to and from PIAC is not permitted. In the final weeks of ITP, students will be informed that the course booklet will be available on the website. Before selecting courses, you will be prompted to update your child's health and privacy details. Four course selections need to be entered via the enrolment system. Carpooling is the same as previously outlined. 
Considerations regarding days, locations and other commitments need to occur before the selections are completed. Selections can be completed any time before the deadline. Course allocation will be emailed to schools and parents. Please check your invitation for specific instructions or requirements for the course that have been allocated. During the first session of each course, students will be given a course outline which will include essential information such as dates of the sessions, contact details of the teacher and due dates for assignments. This should come home in their course file. Here are some key messages we would like the students to take on board for their PIAC journey. Step outside your comfort zone and enjoy the challenge. Show your thinking, the world can't read your mind. Dream big, be original, do what you never thought possible. Learning is not a spectator sport, get involved. The iceberg illusion is a visual we use to highlight the true nature of success and it captures what we're trying to achieve at PIAC. In the words of Theodore Roosevelt, nothing worth having was ever achieved without effort. The PIAC website provides access to important information. It is regularly updated and contains the PIAC calendar and key dates. It provides information about upcoming events and any special courses or opportunities that are available. There are also essential links on the website, such as the option to update health and privacy information. Finally, here are some details about the Western Australia's Government Schools Secondary Selective Entrance programs. The dates here are relevant to students joining the PIAC program as Year 5s in 2022. Thank you for listening to the presentation. We look forward to working with your child.